Yo, what's going on, guys? It's, uh... Yeah. How, how's it going? It's going great for me. Thanks for asking. If you didn't ask, well, now you know. But I think it's time to ruin that, and let's play some EU4. I kid, I kid, I kid. But I'm not kidding about playing EU4. Well, I played it already. Now I gotta talk about it. I was gonna spice things up. I was gonna play as the Chickasaw Nation. I got really far, then I found out I had a mod on. Uh-oh. And then, uh, the game crashed and kept crashing. So... Not doing that one. I don't think I've ever really played in Asia seriously. Like, I think I played as Japan for a little bit and then I got bored. I didn't have any DLC really, so that might have been my own fault. So we, I went back to Asia and uh, we're gonna play as uh, some cool guys. That's right. This video is about the Mongols. Fuck you, Hank Green. You're powerless outside of AP history, Hank Green. So you better stay there where you belong. And don't you touch my mongols again. You're making them cringe when they're supposed to be cool and epic. Okay, sorry about that. Sometimes Hank Green comes in here. I don't know what his deal is. He's like, uh, uh he can't handle that I'm not in high school anymore. He can't handle it. We started off as a slave to the Oriat. It was terrible. They sent young mongol men to work in the cow mines for the rest of their lives. It was a brutal regime. I needed to liberate my people. And, uh, surprisingly, the Ming were like, hey, how you doing? I was like, Phoosh. He said, okay, you know, between you, me, and you, you, and me, I, I think we can work this out. Ming soldiers came and they liberated my people. I didn't really have to do a whole lot. They kind of did everything for me. Thanks, guys. We remained allies. You know, I thought I could weasel out of their tributary system. Apparently, I was wrong. They sent me an offer to tributize me, but I hit the wrong button, so the notification went away. And I, I was like begging to be their slave. They said, no, no, no. Then they decked on me and they took all my fucking money, bro. They robbed me. Full sale. You know, look on the bright side. They're going to crush me like a bug, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. You see, I'm Mr. Brightside. I like to think of the opportunities this gave me. Like violence. I could kill anyone I wanted to now. I could just kill all the other tributary states. And the, the Ming Dynasty, they don't care. They don't give a shit. I could do fun stuff like battle the step nomads who don't want to fight you instead they run around your army and they go and take your capital this is the evilest region of all of eu4 i don't know why this this region is just uh chaos this is chaos theory that's what it is the ai they had a mission they were trying to crush my big yurt my capital is a giant yurt just like how the nomads play in ck2 i force my entire country into the yurt and we live in harmony and soon all of china will be in my yurt that's right my yurt has the synchronize ability we can synchronize with all the people we conquer i'm not kidding this big yurt it brought the future to mongolia like it was like the tardis or something like it, it was just something special about that yurt and with our yurt technology from the future we waged war. Their tech was so bad, bro. Like, we are just mowing them down. Like, all my soldiers had been, like, the main character from Mountain Blade when he's on a horse, bro. Like, they're like Gatling guns shooting off arrows. But rest in peace, Korea. I, I feel bad. I, I didn't do anything to him. If I could put you back together, I would. My sweet prince. The big year started to show me visions, actually. They were almost like lucid dreams, but I was awake. In these dreams, I saw Shrek with the Mongol banner. And you know what? His banner was flying over Beijing. So, I, I guess we had to go and we had to go take Beijing back for the boys. That's what the, that's what the yurt told me. I didn't start this war that's about to happen. The yurt did. For the yurt, I decked on China. Hypothetically, you'd never do something like this. But in a video game, if I had a horde and I saw the Ming Dynasty sitting there, I'm not ruling out that my troops wouldn't cross the border and start, you know, nay-naying on the Chinese soldiers. Some might say this isn't very feng shui, but, you know. We're kind of ushering in a, a world of darkness, so like, the Chinese got so many disasters popping off, like, I feel kind of bad. I mean, they got me my independence, but then they made me a tributary state. No, my heckin' subject arena, no, how could they destroy my empire? Darn. At the end of the war, I decided not to take the mandate. I just wanted Beijing, my wholesome Mongol city. But they gave us a city with rebels in it, like, what a douchebag. Like, I get I nation ruin you, but, bro. Then on top of that, the game crashes, like, what did I do? What did I do? I had to send Prince Andrew to deal with all this stuff. I don't, I don't know how he solves it, but he, he gets the shit done. I don't care about the method, I just want this stuff solved now my economy is in ruins because i don't really know how to play the game that well i mean i have like 800 hours but uh <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> yeah, that don't mean shit. My economy is bad, so I take out my frustration on, uh, small guys. Sorry, champ. Big boy coming through. Oh, yeah, I don't really own any DLC for the unit model, so we look like this. Homie got that cut, though. Ooh. I see you. Yo. Yeah, you're cool, too. Don't worry. I see you, too. The Ming mandate was crumbling. I don't know who did this. Some psychopath did this to him. Me being a man and all, and an opportunist, I couldn't let this situation pass me by. My horses were hungry for man meat. They were tired of grazing on grass. A pure grass diet will make your horse weak, but pure man meat diet? Well, scientists are too afraid to try that one out, so we do a little experimentation on our own. I don't need a PhD for what I'm about to do, alright? So this is between me and nature. Don't worry, I've already done some prep work, so I'm not going in completely blind here. We uh, tested out the method on a smaller scale. We took out some smaller countries before we took on the big cheese. My warpath was devastating, but Khan Shrek, he had a goal. Shrek wanted to be left alone. He wanted to live in the steppes peacefully, but he was, you know, he was... He was forced to become a tributary state after he just broke free from being a vassal. Listen here, Emperor Farquaad. Trick! My ogre, please! It is me, Emperor Farquaad <laughs> of the Ming Dynasty. Please! Won't you and your donkeys show mercy? Kick his ass, Shrek! <laughs> and then it breaks out into a, uh, like a montage. It's like, uh, Don't give a damn about my bad reputation. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. That's, what, that's what it turns into. And then I forcefully adopt a son. He, he, he was so vulnerable, I had to take him in as my son. A lot of time passed here. I was just feeding my children land. I had a couple of them. I had three children. I was feeding them. They all love me. The Ming Dynasty was full on collapsing at this point. Like, I mean, it's typical Ming explosion, but Divet, they had a lot of territory. I was like, yo, can y'all knock it off? They even had the mandate of heaven, like, chill, homie, chill. But before we could take on the Divet, we had to go and deal with the Japanese. They were being kind of rude to Korea, so I came in and I solved the problem myself by invading Korea. That is why I should be ambassador for the United States. I'm a people person, I'm a problem solver, I get stuff done. Then I conquered more of China, but I wasn't satisfied yet. I had plans to go all the way to the top, so I decided to snake my way down to get to Divet, because I had a plan. This plan was to declare war on them, I know, I know, it, it took me a little bit to think of this plan. But I was decking for the mandate. Yeah, I'm a genius. This was probably the easiest war I've ever done. I, I walked in there and I just asked for it. And they're like, sure. And that is how I formed the Yuan. Yeah, no one's ever done that before. So I guess this is kind of like Shrek 3 where, you know, he had a become king so i guess they forced shrek to take the mandate how could they do that but i don't really feel like conquering uh all the territory i need to form the mongol empire so i ended it there also shrek 3 canonically is not a thing shrek 3 didn't happen but uh shit and come that happened yeah play us out shit and come Back to you.